Hey everybody, it's George Whittem here at NAMM 2019. And uh, well, you know, Mixerface, Centrance, Mikeport Pro, names you should probably know, but they got something new and Michael from Centrance is here to tell us all about it. This is something we were very excited about for the voiceover market. It's basically half of Mixerface. So several voiceover artists wrote to me recently and they said Mixerface is great. It allows me to record on the road. It is very portable. It, it's got a you know battery, but it's too big. Can you please take a saw and saw off one channel? Which is what we've done. But we've done a good job. It's you know you can't really see that it's sawed. You can't too, see the saw marks can't anywhere. See the saw marks. <laughs> anyway, this is a, this is basically a mic port pro too, and that's why we called it a mic port pro too because people remember that. Uh, look, this is self-contained. It's got a battery. It'll last for at least six hours, maybe more, depending on the phantom power. It's got phantom power. It works with any microphone that you plug into it, and it records to your phone. Android also? It does uh, iPhone, uh, iOS, Android, Windows, and uh, Mac. So you can basically plug this into anything, and it'll record in high quality. Well, the, let me just tell you that the preamps here are much better than Micport Pro. 20 dB more gain, much less noise. So Micport Pro uh, did not work with the SM7 microphone, for example. This does. Um, this works with shotguns, the 416, for example, a very popular voiceover mic microphone, as well as many others. I noticed also it has a blend control which yes. the Micport Pro didn't have. So that's a nice addition for Skyping and being directed live online. Right, this allows you to dial in precisely how much of the direct signal you're hearing compared to the signal that's returning back from uh, the, the phone or computer, etc. So why does it need a battery? Because the Micport Pro didn't have a battery. So what, what's the point of the battery? Great question. Micport Pro only worked with laptops and uh, home computers because it took its power from the computer's USB port. This product has an its, its own internal battery, so it doesn't need to draw any power from the phone. So you can essentially connect it to the phone, and the phone becomes your recording device, right? And then uh, it is self-powered, so it provides this 48 volt uh, phantom, etc., etc., etc. Probably Which, lets you have a better headphone amp, I would imagine, too, with all that power. Much louder headphone amp as well, right? So you can do a lot of work with it. Um, in addition to being a great interface for voiceover work, uh, you see right here that it, on the input it has the um, combo XLR jack, which allows you to plug in not just the microphone, but also like a line level source or a guitar or bass. And then there's a switch here called Hi-Z, which, uh, which converts the preamp for compatibility with the electric guitar or electric bass. There's also a, um, a high-pass filter. I like that. that. There's a, no interfaces that are this small that have a high-pass filter, and that's really handy. Right, so we're thinking that this is going to be popular not just with voiceover people, but also with musicians. For example, one of the people that's currently endorsing this is uh, Will Lee, who's a bass player from the David Letterman Show. And uh, he loves these interfaces because he can travel with them and he can you know, prov uh, uh, record an overdub on the road and then send it on and be done with, with a session, right? Recording in studio quality away from the studio. That's what these little things allow you to do. Explain why there are two micro USB ports on the back. What's that for? Very simple. One is for charging. The other one is for digital audio. So one is connected to the phone and it allows you to record to the phone or stream with the phone. Um, and then the other one can charge the unit at the same time. So should you find yourself in a stationary situation recording in home, you can leave it plugged in and charging. It will be just like your cell phone. It will charge until it's fully charged and it'll stop charging, right? So it's got the uh, charger coming in and charging. If you look closely, you'll see there's a, a little uh, white LED showing that it's charging presently. I will disconnect and the LED will go away. I'll connect it again and the LED will come back up. Oh yeah, up. charge indicator. Right, and then the, so this cable goes right into the phone. So I currently am running an application. It's, um, forgot what it's called, but it's from Apple. It's a recorder, basically a recorder. Um, I have my level set and I've got a professional condenser microphone. I've got 48 volt phantom power enabled. So overall, a very handy piece that allows you to travel light and uh, have your kit with you. This right here is the entire recording studio. That and uh, you know, a pair of headphones 
um, and a mic, you know, your own mic that you like the sound of. I didn't know you guys were doing headphones. Tell me about your headphones. So we were selling hi-fi products for several years, right? So we, we got to know what hi-fi means, high-quality sound means, right? Uh, we're kind of returning to uh, Pro Audio right now. And um, we decided that if Centrance released headphones, it would be good for both music production and music appreciation. So these are excellent for mixing music, for making music, as well as just playing for listening music. Um, we had to tune them just right so that they sounded uh, perfect for both of those applications. They're nice and very comfortable on the head. They fold up nicely. They travel light. Again, everything we do seems to be very convenient for people who find themselves on the road. If you travel, then um, you know our gear will let you travel in style. You won't have to pack a lot of stuff. Uh, it's all around you. It's all with you. So what's the price point on the new uh, Mikeport Pro 2? Very good. Mikeport Pro 2, $249. Mixer face, there's three models of it. The one that does not have the built-in recorder is $349. The one that does have the built-in recorder is 449, and the one that has the built-in recorder and also the microphones is 499. So, uh, uh, comparatively speaking, much better deal uh, than the uh, comp competitive products because the sound quality is so much better. Well, thank you so much. It's great. Congratulations on the release. It's a really nice package. Thank you, George. Back to you, Dan. Time for lunch.